Hey guys, second fan of the night. Second fan of the night. So, I talked a little bit in the last video about how I made a road trip today to pick up three fans. Um, one of them came from a friend of a friend who was redoing their condo, and the other two came from a guy who was just selling them and emailed me. And uh, this is the latter. This did not come from the condo. This came from the, the, the seller who was nice enough to offer them to me and then hold them to me for me until I can go get them. This is a Tat Windward 36 inch. I believe this is the exact same fan uh, that's in my dad's garage. I really like these. Oh yeah. I'm trying to think, I don't think I ever saw Tats in person as a kid. The first time I ever saw, oh by the way, for behind the scenes content, including some outtakes from earlier and other cool stuff, go to patreon.com slash dspiffy. I think the first time I ever saw a Tat as a kid was when I was swapping pictures. This was back in the day when you had to take pictures with a disposable camera and then take them to Walgreens to get them developed mm -hmm. and then send them in the mail. And I was trading pictures um, with another collector who had family in Florida, or maybe he lived in Florida, I'm not sure. The same collector that was very much into the Panasonic fans. And, um, and his grandmother, I think, had one of these in a Lumidome kitchen, and that's the first time I ever saw one. Um, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. I just, I knew it was cool. Uh, and then when I first started buying fans on eBay, and I was probably in high school at the time, I bought a fan. I wanted badly a Union or, or ever go with a nut on the bottom. Yeah. And so I bid on one on eBay and won, and I was so happy because I think I'd lost a couple. Um, and then, um, got it in the mail. Turned out to have been a tat with a nut on the bottom and not a, uh, and not a, uh, uh. Yeah, so uh, that was the first one I saw in person. It was the one that I bought. So okay. this version, I don't remember where I first saw one, but this is definitely, I think, I'd say this is probably my favorite Tat fan. I'm trying to think of what else Tat made. Did they make a Did they make a four metal blade version fan? Your medalist. Um. Well, actually, they did a four wood blade. Oh no, four four wood. I'm four metal. Oh, I that I don't know, but I, I've I just sold Braxton a four wood blade one like this. I like a their, larger. I like their Moss WF series, so that might be near the top. But this is de a, a nutted industrial is near the top, and and these the thir these look really good in the thirty six inch proportion. So this might be one of my favorite tap fans. Now I seen the full size version of this. There's an Ace Hardware, um, like like it's like Sherman Boulevard and Good Hope Road, I believe is what it was called. And they're not. Are they still there or no? I don't know. We should look. Yes, I was gonna do that one day. Ace Hardware, Sherman, Sherman, In Good Hope Boulevard. Is it on Sherman or is it on Good Hope? Let's see. It is. Meineke Ace Hardware on Fond du Lac. Could that be it? No. Okay. No, it was not. It was like near Brown Deer. Okay, Brown Deer. Yeah, it was near Brown. Village Ace Hardware in Glendale. I don't know if it's Han me. Ace Mequon. You sure it's not a true value? Um, no, because uh, let's see where it was West Dallas. I need to go north. Let me see where okay. was that. I'm right here. It is in Silver Spring. Forty third. You found it? Yeah. What's the address or what's the name? Like, did you find the actual store or just the ad or just the address? Um. Like, do we know the store store is still there? I don't know. That's pretty close to my church, so I could probably find it if it's, it's pretty like easily. It's like just there. south of Good Hope on Forty Third Street. Okay. Ace Hardware, Forty Third Street. Is it Milwaukee or is it a different? Yeah, I would say Milwaukee. All it's coming up. For Aces in Milwaukee, is there's one on Fond du Lac, um, near uh, uh, Fond du Lac, and what's this cross street? It's not telling me, stupid Matt. Fond du Lac and Capital, I know where that one is. And then there's Village Ace Hardware on Prospect. Yeah, it's and, nowhere uh, near that. Well, that's all that's coming up. There's, no, there's none coming up in the map, so I'm guessing it's not there anymore, but they could have switched franchises. Some hardware stores switched. Oh, I know. Like true values, some have switched. 
Let me see here. Switched franchises. Um, there's a Staples Brothers paint and hardware. Where is that at? That's in the hood, so I doubt that's it. No, it was right near Brown Deer. I well, remember. yeah, if you, uh, here we go. This, I think this is gone now. A Fillinger Ace Hardware? I think so. What's it? On uh, 6750 43rd Street? Yeah. Let's see what happened to that. Let's see. Um, now it's just A Fillinger Inc. A Fillinger Inc. Cabinet Inc. store. Interesting. Yeah. It's not an Ace anymore. Uh, yeah. Fillinger's. Yeah. Let's see here. Well. A. Fillinger Custom Cabinetry, Fillinger Millwork. There's a picture of the outside. Let me see if they're on Facebook. I've got too many windows open, but I'm going to try. Yeah. In the meantime, we because can, go ahead. What are you going to say? going to go to zero to What high. do you think it's going to do for InRush? I think a big I kind of already saw. Oh, okay. Well, got if you already up. saw, then, then you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Seven five, so yeah, if it drops, it's only rated at like point five, so yeah. But there was full when it was an ace in there. It was there were full size versions of these, basically, fifty six inch. Well, when I, I when I got older and went to some U hauls, U hauls used to have these in the fifty six inch in every location. Okay. And uh, then there was a hardware store I found when I was you know. Still young, but old enough to drive, that had brown 48s. Tons of them. I've told that story before. Those are really cool. I wish I had those. I tried to save them, but I dropped the ball. Yeah. Okay, well, how's that doing on the old uh, Devonly Big In Rush? What, what's the power factor and all that? Okay. Let's see if it's going to drop anymore. This is a little bit higher than what it says, but that's okay. It is 63 watts, so I think it's going to be a no, surprisingly not a power factor of one. Okay, but close. It's, it's high. It's a high power factor. Yeah, 63.7, so 64 watts. But yet it's like a 0.83 power factor, which I thought, you know, of yeah. watts and amps, that would have created a power factor of one. Well, the math is just a little different, you know. But, um, by the way, did I shout out Patreon at the top of this video? Yes. Okay, so one of my Patreon supporters... Uh, who also sends me content for YouTube, supports me in any number of different ways. Will, uh, yeah. from Australia, um, he is uh, sending me a message on Facebook right now, which uh, is not about this fan in particular, but if it was, that would make sense because they sold these in Australia. Okay. You find a lot of TAT products in Australia. That'd be something... I don't know if I could research that topic. Like, I don't know if I'd have access to the right stuff in the U.S., um, but I'd love to know how TAT became... Uh, such a strong supplier in Australia. Okay. So we'll, uh, yeah, see what information you can send me, and then I'll augment it with my own research and maybe do a research uh, workbench video on that specifically. Good. We'll go with 11.35. Okay, I, mean, I don't know if you brought the calculator in here. I'm going to use the one on my computer. 11.35 divided by 3 is a 378 RPM. That's a lot of RPM. Oh, yeah. I need to measure the one in my dad's garage. Yep, it's A. Fillinger Inc., but I can't find any pictures of the inside of the store, so... <coughs> no crunching! We're not at the right value. M&Ms don't count. Oh, yes, they do, because I can hear you chewing. If I can hear you chewing, it counts. <laughs> Okay, here's a calculator. See? See? God. So much chewing. Now I dropped the tachometer and it's gone. I don't think you dropped it because I would have heard it clatter. I think you just set it down. Many much metal is happening. Oh, I 
I'm getting a 590. 590. It must be a good day for 590, huh? Yep. Okay, well, let me do the math then. So it's a 36 inch fan, so 7.07 .07 times 590 equals. That's about 4,200 CFM. You know what? I'm on the computer so I can pull up the list and see where it compares. Um, the list hasn't been updated, um, so it won't be everything that we've tested thus far. Okay, so that is more, there's more than a 36 inch Union Evergo, 36 inch Gold Line, more than a 36 inch Blender Fan, less than a 36 inch Caribbean Breeze, less than a 36 inch Contact. Okay. So that is where we're at. Okay, spin down. And this one was really stiff. Oh, one of the blades is quite a bit bent, even though uh, it did not doesn't doesn't really wobble. Sometimes that affects airflow, though. Yeah. So that's a good reason to balance a fan, even if it's not wobbling. Mm -hmm. Although this one, you know, I, couldn't have been that bad if I didn't notice until now. No. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm surprised at how smooth the bearings are on this because we initially thought this one was going to be super stiff. It seemed like it was, and then it turned out that there were some other factors at play. Mm -hmm. We did not do a behind-the-scenes video on that, but we should have. We just had too many things going on. Still got kind of a long spin down, though. Yeah. No, I'm saying I'm, I'm surprised at how smooth it's running because I thought it wouldn't run this smooth, but it is. Yeah, yeah good spin down. Originally, when I got this, I thought this fan had never been used because it kind of looked like it, like the blades were pristine. Yeah. And the only scuffs and scrapes on the motor could have been explained by just storing it without the box. Mm -hmm. um, but it turns out it had been used and just, you know, not didn't really show any real signs of use until you lifted the lower canopy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah, much better runner than the one in my dad's garage. I keep saying my dad's garage even though he's gone because he, you know, he was the one who used it. My mom's using it now, but I don't think she'll ever turn the fans on. She doesn't even turn the lights on when she goes out there. Oh. She just, you know, so. Okay. Time for the decade box. <laughs> Where do you think it's going to start? I think uh, at this point it's going to, I'm going to give it three. I think it'll start low. Okay. I'll say, hmm. I'll say two, shot in the dark. All right. One. Two. Nope. Three. Nope. Didn't go with me. Four. Oh, there it's going. I should have gone with four. Four. I, I was debating between two and four, but I was like, oh, it's running so smooth. Let's do a shot in the dark. Might be a tad stiff. It's barely going on four. And five. I have hung the hung my mind like like this. You got the straight bladed version. Yes. I like that too. I like I, I negligibly like these blades more, but I honestly sure. like both. I think the only one where I really prefer the curved blades is fifty six. Yep. The forty eight and the thirty six I think look good with both. I think the fifty six looks a little strange with the straight blades. Mm -hmm. Although I have a straight blade tad upstairs that's got the this is a very different motor shape. Though. By the way, I just remembered mm -hmm. I'm definitely wrong about where I first saw tats. In Appleton, Wisconsin, there was a pizza place that my mom and dad apparently had some, like maybe one of their first dates were there, although I don't remember there being tables. I remember it being just takeout. So I don't remember the exact story. It had some significance to when my mom and dad were dating, when they were very young, because they married super young. Um, mm -hmm. And so they took us to see this pizza place that was important to them. And it was just like a little, you know, like a little hole in the wall pizza place where yeah. you had like a little waiting area where you could order yeah. and that's about it and the old menus and all that. Oh, yeah. And there were two brown 36-inch tats, the UFO style. Okay. Do we have, yeah, like the ones, like the same shape as the ones that were in the in the bay originally, um, but brown and 36-inch. Okay. 
That was I don't the first think place I've ever shot seen at. brown of that type. There was one in Florida, and um, I think it was free on Marketplace, Six. and it was right near uh, right near Skyler. And he didn't want it, but I knew you would want it, so I asked him to get it for us. And I think somebody either 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 somebody beat us to it, or the seller threw it out before we had a chance to. I think it was like the seller's son scrapped it or something, something like some story like that. It may or may not have been true. You never know when a marketplace seller is telling you the truth or not. But it was, yeah. it was something where he was willing to go pick it up and ship it. It was the exact same one from the pizza shop. Yeah. Um, and, and I think you would have really liked it. Okay. Um, and it probably flew. Because those, honestly, those UFO motor tats are better performers than these cast motor tats. Oh, okay. um, granted, I, I like these better just because I like the look of them. But the UFO ones are probably the yeah. best performing tats. Wow. With something like this, I ended up running it on a three speed. Okay. If I wanted to use, you know, capacitor, I remember four speed, it goes over. Here is seven. And here comes eight. Crunch, 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 crunch. I forgot to warn everyone, but um, so this is what I would get out of a medium right here. Nine. Ten. Interesting sound there on 10 that I wasn't expecting. 11. I remember, I think it drew like 6.3 or so on high. Yep. So here comes 12. Crunch, 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 crunch. I'm just gonna hit the high, hit the high switch. Still in rushes up to like six, seven. Take it off. Yeah, you're pretty much right at high. And if I do 13, I'm at 6.5, so I just start. Let me see if I even go over any more. Okay, I'm starting. Yeah, definitely a 13 I'm going over. Okay, well, how do you think it's going to do in a solid state? I think, typically, I think these... I think this will be at least bedroom quiet. Okay. I'm going to go with living room quiet because I don't think it'll be silent. Yeah. But we'll see. I hope it is. All right, solid state. Not silent. That's definitely bedroom quiet. <laughs> you think it's going to be louder than bedroom, or you think that's where it tops out? Tops out. Okay. His metal has spoken. It is better than quiet. Yeah, pretty quiet. Almost not quite silent, but... Yeah. 
seems like the high on the bedroom to me, just being honest. That's just how mm. it comes across to me. But it could be because I wasn't looking at it. I was looking down. Yeah. And so I was just listening, which can be a different perception. Usually I'm looking at it, trying to gauge. Um, so question, uh, how do you think this will do? Well, first of all, how metal is this? Oh, this is definitely uh, the death metal, black metal category. Yeah. yeah, these are top tier Dan fans as well. How rick do you think this is? Ooh, I would definitely, well, being a tat and an import and a cast, then this could possibly reach the, his top tier. It could. I, so I know he likes nut nutted spinners with wood blades. Yeah, which not they, really. Go ahead. Which they do make of this type yes. of tat. I'm not really sure how he feels about them with metal blades. Yeah, I know, I know he loves those SMCs. He does, but that's also because like Rick would get SMC branded on his ass. You know, I mean, that's he loves anything SMC made pretty much. I don't know if there's even any exceptions to that. Like, well, there's, of course, those Will Corp. Ones. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know how he feels about industrials that aren't uh, SMCs, blenders. I only know that he likes gold lines because we've talked about it with him, but I don't even know if they make it into his top category or if they're just a middle category fan for him. Yeah. Uh, so I really don't know. I'm going to guess this is the high end of his middle category, the high end of wood grain station wagon, possibly the low end of avocado plants, but I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Uh, so what do we have? I'll just left thing. Oh, yeah, cause that's, we can't really do a Rick test. No. So uh, what do we have left? Just thanking our sponsors? That's right. We're well, uh, your medalist, you want to take the lead or should I? Well, I can, I can place the product. You can place the product. Okay. Is that shown in the frame? Yes, it is. Fan so stick. this is our original sponsor, the very first sponsor to ever get involved in this channel. That is Fanstick. That's what is the slogan for Fanstick, your medalist? Fanstick is the solution to all our problems. All of our problems. To find out more, go to buyfanstick.com, fanstick.biz, lightstick.biz, and for Florida Fanstick, which is 69% yep, longer and harder. Which we got than... right here, actually. Oh, yeah. We still got to get some neon tape, though. Yes. I might actually need to take that back to my house because I, I left those Christmas lights in those front trees uh -huh. just because I figured I'd, why I take them down is leave them up till next year unless they're dead. And a, a part of them was starting to fall down, but I think I could probably still get them back up there with, with Florida fan stick. Okay. So uh, next time we're making a trip of stuff, I don't know if that'll fit in my car. Well, I guess I could hang it out the window. One of these days I'm going to take it back over there uh, just to fix that because there's so many things you can use fan stick for. Yep. Theoretically, you can even use it for painting. Yes. I mean, that would be silly, but you could do it. Um, okay. Well, I'm hungry. I haven't had my dinner yet. Do you know where I wish I could eat? Yes. Uh, Taco Burrito Mexico. Taco Burrito Mexico. And then I would wash it down with a nice, refreshing... Sperry. What do you think about Sperry, your medalist? It's Sperry good. Sperry good. Um, so, watch the barn tours and the behind-the-scenes videos. You'll see... Where I'm sitting just to my immediate left uh, is some of the lighting we use. It's both over the workbench for like working on stuff on the workbench as well as for the video to light the fan. Who made that lighting, your medalist? The good manufacturing. The good manufacturing company. We didn't need excellent lighting, yep. but we didn't want terrible lighting. We wanted to hit it right in the middle of the dartboard. And we went with the good manufacturing company. Um, you got to see a little sneak preview of one of our other sponsors that we didn't get to fully explore in this video. But what's that sponsor, Pete? A1220 LLC, where our motto is, is crunch, 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 crunch. You really ain't on that one. Um, anything else besides Rick or Sheep? Because I was going to, I always, I try to save Rick or Sheep for last. Um, yeah. Because that's the most, that's, that's the game. Everything else is business, but that's a fun game you can play with your friends. We got to play Wrecker Sheep earlier during the last test video. I think it's the first time we've ever had a visual game of Wrecker Sheep during a test video. Mm -hmm. um, a very fun game to play. It was so hard to tell whether it was Wrecker Sheep. Um, but that's, that's the joy of the game. <laughs> um, so if Jonas were here, what would he say? I like doorbell. What else would he say? Pardon me, would you have any homestead catalog? What do you think about House on the Rock, Jonas? One word, incredible. One word, overwhelming. One word, 
Marvelous. One word, magnificent. Sounds just like him. I, I swear that was Jonas. Here, all you need to... Just, Pete, I, I'm, I'm dead serious about this. Uh-huh. I need you to get a top hat. Okay. So when you do your Jonas impression, you put on the top hat, and we'll make sure that you get in frame. Okay. I, I don't know where you get a top... I bet you there's one on Amazon. Okay. So we just need to find... Or even like maybe like a spirit Halloween. Mm-hmm. So... In the future, his metalness is going to wear a top hat for his Jonas impression. Because that's the only thing missing. Other than that, it's just like Jonas was here. You know? Doorbell. Doorbells. You know, I, I, I would have thought that was him sitting next to me, except no top hat. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Organs. <laughs> or, see, that, that's one thing Jonas and I have in common. And, and his metalness as well. And Todd. We all love organs and Leslie's. Leslie's and organs. But he, Jonas likes the theater. He of. likes all of them. He oh. likes Hammonds and Leslie's. I don't know where his ranking is. Mm. Um, I know he loves Hammonds and Leslie's, and he loved them before he met me. And he loves pipe organs and theater organs. If I had to guess, I'd say pipe organs and theater organs are peak, are peak Jonas. Yeah. Um, but uh, I know Hammonds are up there. He loves. Um, he loved going to GMS and because in that you know the organ there. We we didn't have all this for him to see, you know, when he yeah. came. No. Um, and uh, but I think I still had the one in my music room, but I don't know if we had much time to spend with that one because we were so busy all week. I think the, mo the most organ he got was a GMS, but oh, he loved that. Okay, that yeah. covers everything for this video. Patreon, that what were we gonna as say? As far as pipe organs go, the song is what does it. Okay, well, I don't want a copyright strike. So okay, that should be enough that they're not Halloween. Gonna... Yeah. Talking about Halloween. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll have to do a special Halloween video then when yes. that comes around. Um, okay. Uh, so, as always, patreon.com slash dspiffy for more content. Uh, what else can they do, your medalist? Bye, fans. Bye, fans. Thanks for watching. Can you stop the uh, video? Yep. Thank you.